Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kim. I'm doing a past life reading for April 2018 and this is one of your past lives and how it's going to affect you for April. Um, it is for singles and I'm bringing the card of Egypt into the reading from the past life deck and this is telling me that you had a significant past life in Egypt that you probably drawn to this culture and um, all its artifacts. Um, it could be that you have a negative pattern that's refusing to heal from this past as there was a lot of um, trauma back in this lifetime. Um, maybe um, you're wanting to travel to this country. Uh, you have a strong um, feeling to travel there. Maybe you had a positive experience in that lifetime when you were there, but um, you, you want to explore their belief systems and um, tap into the ancient history of the, of the uh, culture. Um, you may wish to um, look at uh, stargazing because they were right into astronomy and astrology back in those days, because this could trigger the insight um, of how it's going to help you through April um, 2018. Maybe if you have thoughts of traveling to Egypt and you're frightened to go back there, maybe something traumatic happened back then. But um, maybe um, going to see a professional qualified therapist um, to do a regression can help you heal the old toxic energies. Leo, um, it's also telling me that um, you were a writer in this past life. Maybe uh, the same um, is happening today in today's society. Um, maybe you're an author of some kind, but it's telling me you strongly um, were a writer or a scriber in this past lifetime. So uh, it could have been that you used to put all the um, hieroglyphics on the, um, the pyramid walls or maybe... Um, that's what you strongly did in those days and the knowledge is coming out in this lifetime so um but you're a person that has natural thinking who can organize your thoughts into written words so um maybe if you've got some discipline to sit down and write um, about a previous lifetime that comes to mind it may be that it's um the past life is coming back to you in um thoughts of a, a form of a thought process so um, maybe do some research on writing writing and publishing and um, and just make sure that you do this every day because it's going to um, benefit you so you need to journal something um, it could be creative writing it, uh, as well as non-fiction writing or probably just blogging articles on the internet but you have a strong desire to be a publisher so um, you need to put a lot of effort so you can attain your dreams in this lifetime today now i have a um picture card from the romance oracle deck and this is wedding so this is telling me that you were married in a past life um i'm strongly feeling you were the male back then and um i have picked a card from the lenormand deck uh, as the theme of the reading which is the tree and this relates to karmic life ancestors um, it's your overall vitality and energy and it is a slow um, growing card so it is about growth but it's something that's um, very sturdy and um, firm to the ground you bring in the energies of the fish into this reading now this could relate to um, you being emotional uh, Leo or it could be that um, it is cut of money so maybe you, um, in this lifetime you're going to make money through your writing and maybe if it's talking about your relationship maybe this person that you were with in the past was um, your deep soul mate so um, it is a card of deep emotions now when it comes next to the um, bouquet this could have been um, related to money it could have been um, an inheritance or a gift of money that you were given or well, this could be in this in this incarnation but um, I do feel that maybe now that you come from a wealthy family um, or you've got a home-based business happening 
or maybe you're writing from home that could be possible too but it's about using your talents and skills and um, maybe it's an unknown source of income at this point of time but I feel like it's going to grow now I have pulled two cards from the animal tarot deck the first one is the tennis spring it's a Saint Bernard dog um, you possibly be uh, been working too hard on this book or um, whatever you are blogging and um, it's going to become too stressful so you need to reach out and get help from others and make some time to be able to go out and enjoy your own life and you know have some playful time as well um, you've got to find a balance somewhere here Leo and you've also got the ten of winter and this is the Siberian Husky dog so maybe um, the end of uh, career path is taking place and this is a project that you've been working on uh, maybe it's going to bring feelings of mixed joy and sadness because you're sad that your career path is gone but um, all in all you've got um, happiness as well maybe you're feeling some relief because of the stress that you've had uh, and some disappointment but um, you've got to put aside your fears because these um, changes are taking place is telling you there's a brighter future awaiting now I have pulled um, underneath the Lenormand Oracle deck this is about communication with the birds this is about a couple could be an older couple or it could be a telephone call emails that type of thing but there is a relationship that's coming to an end and I feel it's in your career like the um, St Bernard dog just said uh, but there is opportunities coming so with endings there's unexpected opportunities and um, maybe um, you know this is at the end of a career path and you're starting a new one with this journalism or writing a book now I just want to pull um, a card crystal card for you just to tell you how uh, you can heal from the past issues uh, but there's definitely some money coming through um, secrets or maybe just your knowledge that you've had in the past and you putting pen to paper perhaps um, you're using your talents and skills and that's coming um, from within it's something that's deep planted deep inside your soul and uh, I feel that you'll make money through working from home by doing this so maybe uh, you've been really working hard on this book and um, there's interest that's been expressed here and maybe um, that's why you're leaving your old career behind because you want to start making money out of this book and it's going to free your time up a little bit more to concentrate on this and um, it's not going to be as stressful as what you're already doing now we've got the garnet and this is about abundance expansion and fertility so the fish is a card of fertility so this is about um, you know something that you're going to start up um, you've planted the seeds basically and there's abundance coming and expansion with this stone so if you carry a garnet on you and they are available from your crystal shops and new age shops because you've drawn, uh, drawn this card because um, it's signifying for you to have strength and creativity so to realize the changes you need to make now you can call upon your uh, strengths to clear the path ahead now this will help um, with the any blood disorders or uh, fluids in the body um, it can help regenerate the body from a cellular level and re-energize functioning so um, it is a protective stone and it helps to support us during any crisis that we um, come into contact with it also helps facilitate um, success in all things particularly our ability to overcome internal or external resistance to change so maybe you're having a little bit of a hard time like um, like it said here you've got mixed feelings um, of sadness and disappointment and um, you know totally um, good feelings as well you're feeling joyous about your new ideas and um, you need to just put aside the fears that um, are taking place uh, on these changes and trust you've got a brighter future waiting for you and if you carry a garnet around with you um, in your wallet or purse or um, just in your pocket um, just keep it near you over night time 
put it under your pillow. This is going to help bring abundance into your life. So I hope this has been um, beneficial for you and it resonated with um, a small majority of you because that's uh, I'm not focusing on one particular person. It's just the energies um, that are coming through to get the message to the uh, the right person or persons. And um, I will be back soon. Thank you for stopping by, Leo. Bye.